Listen, hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes you gotta make a stand. <sighs> You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <sighs> anyway, thanks for the help. You got a name? Coppo? <laughs> uh, um, this is Noel. And this is Snow. We're getting married. It's on hold for now. Uh, yeah. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. <laughs> Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Koopa. Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? <sighs> you really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanille and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. Mm. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe Lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar. So she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you've got to make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. You saw lightning in a dream too. That means it must be true. She is alive. Yep. You were right all along, Sarah. She was, right there in my dream. We talked and everything. So once I've made sure Vanille and Fang are safe, we can look for light together. Let us help you fight the monster. I won't abandon Vanille and Fang. If that's what Lightning wants, we've got no choice. None of this makes sense. There are thousands of Flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox? If it is, we'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact <laughs> first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. But it's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with Snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. This is a map of the area. Take it with you. There are so many little flan. Where are they all going to? We follow them straight to the artifact. Well, we need it. It could happen may be drawn by the space-time disturbance. 
Let's find out. What's got your attention? Must be that vine. Guess he's telling us we can use it to get across. Got it. If we get stuck, just look for a vine. Hey, no. How old are you? 18. Younger than me. I guess so. End of the road. We have to turn back. <sighs> Come on. No way we can take that. <laughs> hey! Oh, over here! Don't, don't encourage it! Hey, big guy, we need to get through this valley. Mind giving us a ride? Um, I don't think it hurts you. No answer. Guess I'll take that as a yes. It'll swallow you whole. <laughs> Well, let's find out! Snow! Ah, <laughs> uh, bouncy! Is it angry? I think so. I think he actually likes it. Yeah, he just had an itch that needed scratching. Come aboard! Help me out! Okay! that out over there no it's too far for me Kupo. okay i'll throw you closer Kupo, Kupo. good idea we can broaden our search radius sarah please save mom Kupo. good luck Good mood. Maybe he's looking forward to the free lunch. No worries. If he does attack, we'll think of something. How have you even survived this long?
these guys. They sure know how to stay in line. <laughs> He's a weird little critter. Looks like he <laughs> stepped right out of Nautilus. Isn't it, fella? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's like a theme park mascot. What's a theme park? Uh, well, it's a place where people go to just go on rides and have fun. I guess you only have them when times are peaceful and prosperous. Not like where you're from. Hey, where do you come from, anyway? A place that doesn't have much in the way of fun or civilization. That's where I'm from. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Neil and Fang. Yeah. Come to think of it, he's a lot like him. Really? How so? They were born on Grand Pulse, just like you. Back then, on Cocoon, that was really unusual. Huh. We have things in common. Well, I'll make sure to introduce them to you. One of these days. to do this. We can't afford to fail. If we don't find a way to defeat that flan... Hey, don't get too wound up now. People start to make mistakes when they stress out too much. If you know what I mean. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. If you want to try, be my guest. What do you mean? For every road, there's a 